My name is Max Drozny. I'm 18 years old. This is my story, and this is how lifting changed my life. Before I got into lifting, I was like any typical guy that would eventually go to the gym. I was skinny, I had no self-confidence, I had a terrible stutter, and I struggled a lot mentally. My stutter impaired my speech so much that I actually had to go to speech therapy, and I did that for most of my elementary and middle school years. This didn't help my self-confidence, and that was definitely a thing that held me back from having conversation with many people. I had always been on the swim team and played soccer growing up, but eventually I wanted to stop all that, and I wanted to start lifting and change my life. At this point, I was 16 years old, and I had set a bunch of goals that I wanted to achieve by the time I was 18. A week or so after I had set these goals, I was with my friends longboarding down this massive hill, and I ended up breaking my hand. This didn't stop me from anything, and I ended up starting lifting with a broken hand, with a splint on actually, and I would gotten some advice from a coach at my high school, and I ended up starting working out with my broken hand. Not even a week into lifting, I was doing an exercise, and I was definitely doing it wrong, and I ended up feeling a snap in my back. It honestly felt like a popping feeling, and I thought I could hear it and just taking back the dumbbell that I was using uh, back to the rack was an absolute challenge and I knew my life was going to be changed from now on. Right after the initial injury, I started having numbness and tingling down my entire right leg and I tried to work through this in my lifeguarding job and also playing soccer at the time for my high school and even just standing there, I was in absolute agony, standing there guarding at the water park I was working at at the time and I knew that something was actually wrong and because I was 16 I just didn't want to accept it. So I tried to fight it for a couple weeks but eventually I told my mom and we went to the doctors and I was actually referred to the children's hospital which was about two hours away from my house. So I ended up going there and getting an MRI and a CAT scan because they were worried that I had a disc problem. And at 16 years old this is a super early time to have back problems at all and um, I ended up being diagnosed with a bulging disc at 16 years old. The doctors told me that I would never be able to squat or delt again and I would never be able to achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve by the time I was 18. Some doctors recommended back injections and even talked about surgery and, and that's when I realized I really screwed up. For the next few days, I remember just sitting in my room and contemplating what I would be doing with my life and I worried that I would never live the life that I wanted to live and this is when I became seriously depressed and began feeling hopeless. I felt that now that I wouldn't be able to achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve under the doctor's orders, my life would be meaningless and I honestly didn't want to live any longer. Eventually I started going to PT with the doctor's orders to hopefully eventually get rid of the pain or diminish it to a very, very low level. However, while I was at PT, I realized that I didn't just want to be normal and I didn't just want to get back to where I was. I wanted to change my life and take it further. And I decided that I wanted to go against what everybody said. I wanted to go against what my doctor said. I wanted to go against what my parents said. And I started going back to the gym. I had done countless hours of research on how to protect the spine while lifting and I started lifting very, very light. And that's why in my dental transformation I started with only 75 pounds for 10. And that was actually the first day that I started back deadlifting and I was so excited to get through that without any pain. And eventually the pain slowly subsided and I'd started the Blaha 5x5 in November of 2017. I hit 405 within a year of my back injury, and now I'm deadlifting 495 for five, I've hit 525 for two, and I'm chasing a six plate deadlift very, very soon. I've squatted 420 pounds for one, I've squatted 405 for three, and I'm just way further than I ever would have expected. I no longer struggle with a stutter, and I have way more self-confidence than I ever had in my entire life. I'm now at college pursuing PT, and I'm 18 years old. Two years after, I didn't think I had anything left in my life, and I've succeeded, man. I've achieved the goals that I wanted by 18, and I actually blew them out of the water. I wanted to achieve a 405 Delft by the time I was 18, but now I'm closing on six plates while I'm still 18. That's 585 pounds. My goal was to be 180 pounds by the time I was 18, and right now I'm 188, so I blew that out of the water too. 
And overall what I've learned is you should never live your life afraid. And no one should give up. When you're set on something, you should go for it. And you gotta believe in yourself, man. People are gonna tell you you can't do something and those people you just don't have to listen to. Chances are it's gonna be your parents, doctors, people you look up to that tell you you can't do something. And those are the same people you gotta shut out of your mind and pursue what you wanna do. Because doing exactly that gave me another chance at life. Lifting gave me another chance at life. I went from a starring, no confidence, 16 year old kid to an 18 year old power lifter that does YouTube and has made more successes than I ever would have expected at 18 years old. I have massive goals for the future and I have no question in my mind that I'm going to achieve these goals as long as I have a fixed mindset and a consistent drive to do so. Lifting is what I love, lifting is my passion, and lifting changed my life.